we will obtain the slope of the tangent to a curve y equals f of x at an arbitrary point p x comma f of x. The graph of y equals f of x is shown here. The point p has coordinates x comma f of x since f of x is a function which yields the height y of a point on the curve whose x coordinate is given. We seek the slope of the tangent, but we only know the coordinates of one point, p, on it. To get the slope of any line, we need two points on it. So, we choose a nearby point, x plus h, on the axis. This gives us a second point, q, on the curve with coordinates x plus h, comma, f of x plus h. We then draw the chord PQ. Since we know the coordinates of P and Q, the slope of the chord is easy to obtain using the formula M equals delta Y over delta X. Note that delta X equals H, while delta Y equals F of X plus H minus F of X. It follows that the slope of the chord PQ is F of X plus H minus f of x over h. The tangent at p is back and is waiting for us to find its slope. We sadly realize that its slope is not equal to the slope of the chord. Now, let point q slide down the curve towards point p. In other words, let h approach zero. Then, the slope of chord PQ approaches the slope of the tangent line to the curve at P. This is one of the reasons we study limits in calculus. We can obtain the slope of the tangent denoted by M tangent by taking the limit of F of X plus H minus F of X over H as H approaches zero. The chord perished in this process. Its last gasp was the slope of the tangent. This is said mathematically by the formula m tangent equals the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x over h as h approaches zero. The tangent is a limiting position of a sequence of chords, each of which has two points on the curve. Each of these slopes can be determined using this equation we then calculate the limit as h approaches zero and obtain the slope of the elusive tangent.